start. This is it. Okay. Hola. <laughs> it's Brianna. Today we are doing, obviously it's me, but today I'm going to get ready for the fair. Me, my mom, and Luna are going to the Arizona State Fair. And um, so I'm going to get ready, and I thought that I would do it on here. Since I really enjoy that, we're going to do that. So I'm going to show you what I'm using. And then also I have three featured products that I want to mention. Really it's just two because it's like the brand that I like. But um, I'm going to be talking about a couple of those things. Maybe I shouldn't show you. Maybe I'll cut that out. Um, so I am going to be featuring a couple of items that... I either like or I just got or what else I don't know something like that it's gonna be like a mini review or maybe like I'm just excited about it and I just got it okay so that's what we're gonna do okay I've been having kind of a weird day today um, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather is what I'm gonna say uh, and so yeah this Doing my makeup always makes me feel better when I'm having a bad day, so I'm thinking, let's do it. And why not do it with you guys, you know? My cute little water bottle. I got it at Wally World. I'm going to put a sticker. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that just so sweet of her? <laughs> For a second, I got, like, I was just like, oh. But, you know, I'm going to put it on there so it reminds me of her, so therefore it's cute. Okay, so here, what are we starting with? I'm either going to use this or the beauty blender. I don't know if I want to do full on makeup. Let me see. We're going to be outside. But I don't think we're going to be sweating. I think it's going to be nice and cool outside. So maybe I will go full face. If I know I'm going to be like hot and disgustingly sweaty, I won't put makeup on or I'll just put like a tiny bit. So let's see how that helps. We're going to do. I wonder if I put this here. Totally works. Okay, we're going to do this. Um, the foundation that I use all the time, because I don't always use foundation, I use the, well, plus it's really good. I use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir foundation, and it looks like that. Um, so I think I'm going to do a little bit. Do I want to glow? Let's see, we'll do a glow today. This is the L'Oreal uh, Lumi Glotion. I really like this does give you a real nice glow. I need to put my hair back, but I'm embarrassed to show you guys what I put my hair back with. <laughs> Nobody is going to think it's cute or anything at all. It's going to be horrible. So, I'm not going to put that in just yet. We're not, you know, we're still breaking the ice with our relationship and everything. So, oh, actually, why am I putting that on my nose? Hmm. Like that. Everywhere you put highlight, that's where I put that. Because mm, I do tend to get oily. Not like super oily, but I do get oily. Okay, so uh, we're going to do. Ooh, mine is almost empty. I'm going to do. Try two pumps. Okay, thanks. I guess not. Okay, so this is Real Techniques brush. This is the Expert Face Brush. I love all of their brushes. They're really good. It's like an old, old fave of everybody, but they really are good. Like, every single brush I've ever tried from them is really good. So I guess I'm just putting a light layer. I'm excited to go to the fair. I haven't been there since I was like, uh, I don't know, super young though. And I think I went with like either my cousin Genesee and her mom or with school. And that was the last time I remember um, going. But I don't really like the rides. 
Um, I feel like they're very scary. <laughs> I'm just afraid that, like, I don't know, they're going to fall apart. So, <laughs> I guess I'm a wimp when it comes to the, the fair and, like, carnivals. Why does that sound so weird? But yeah, like, anything that isn't, like, stationary all the time, like, you know, Disneyland and everything, it never moves. But the fair, they move that shit all the time. Which, they're probably really good at it, but what if they forget a part one day or something? You know, then you're on there and bam, you fly off. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, you want to rub that in real nice. Make sure you get it nice and blended on the skin, into the skin. Okay. So, and this uh, foundation, foundation, um, the foundation isn't like super tacky, but uh, but it does stay kind of like. I guess you could say tacky, yeah. <laughs> it's tacky. So, I'm going to do... I've been using a new brush to set with, though, so that's kind of exciting. Let's see if I have it here. I usually set with this one. I set my under eye and all over my face. But, lately, I've been uh, setting with this one. I feel like it puts... Less powder. I use the Cody Airspun powder. This is the best powder. Best bang for your buck. It's, it's very messy, but it works wonders. Hi. I really like the way it uh, melts into your skin after your makeup is on for a while. Especially if you're sweating, which sounds kind of weird, but I live in um, Phoenix. So it gets super duper hot. And, uh, that's saying something because this powder, I swear, it just makes everything look so good. Even when you're sweating. So this puts less powder, I feel, because it's a dual fiber brush and these tend to pick up less product. So... And I swirl it over my cheeks. It even kind of like minimizes my pores a little. I just feel like it does a lot for me. At first, of course, it looks powdery because you just put a ton of powder all over your face. But I'm telling you, once it melts in, it's so beautiful. So I put everywhere I put... Oh, I didn't put concealer. What am I thinking? I didn't put concealer. Um... Well, we'll try it like that. I always either do concealer, no foundation, and today I guess I'm doing you no know, concealer. We're going to try it, and uh, maybe I can add some over the top when I'm done. But um, I might not need it. I don't have dark circles, uh, but I do look very tired today. I have major back because I've just been having a really bad day. Um, but I don't have dark circles, so we, let's just try it. Let's see. Um, I'm going to show you the concealer I use anyway, though. This is the Concealer Twins by Physicians Formula. And this is the only color that they have in this. I'm pretty sure this is the only color, unless they have more, like, on their website or something like that. But I know that every uh, CVS I've gone to, they've only had the one shade. Uh, but I do love this. I mean, I have four, four containers right here. That should tell you something. Um, it's very light. But it still gives you coverage. Um, I don't think it's, for me, it's not drying. I'm like, I think I'm combo for sure because I have some, like, I, sometimes I get dry, but I'm not super dry to where I'm, like, flaky. Um, and this works really well for me. So it's a really pretty concealer. If you're into something just, like, lightweight, simple, um, it has a yellow brightening side and then a concealer on this side. I like it. The concealer is, um, more for like no makeup days so if you just want a little brightening underneath the eye i like the yellow because it's not too dark for me and it doesn't like it doesn't look yellow it almost just like shears out but brightens out that area it's really pretty wish i would have used it um but i forgot 
So um, let me see. What's my next step? We'll start bronzing. And so this is the bronzer that I use. This is Wet n Wild Pressed Powder in the shade Cocoa. And this is what I use as my bronzer. This is a... Um, Bear with me, guys. This is like my first serious, um, <laughs> my first serious makeup tutorial. Get ready with me, type thing. So, if it's horrible, um, don't be too mean in the comments, but for sure, give me a little bit of like critiquing, a little bit of what do they say? Constructive criticism. I need that. So, don't be shy, darling. Leave me a comment and tell me what I should do more of, what I should do less of. So I really enjoy this. I really do. And I enjoy the editing process. I like choosing the music. I like cutting the footage. I like all that stuff, so. We're just doing bronzer. I love bronzer, and I think this is like the perfect shade of bronzer for me. It's really warm, but it looks not like uber warm. Okay. Do that, and then... I'm going to do a little bit underneath the chin, brushed around the river then. <laughs> I've been singing that all day long. Oh gosh. Anything to do, or anything to lighten my mood. Okay. Oops, I'm going to get this white shirt so dirty. So I just contoured my nose a little bit, the size of this. That looks real cute. Okay. Um, my hair on the other hand, I need my hair done. I'm thinking about getting like a bob. I'm not sure. Okay. Get on to the next step. I think I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow. Or you know what, I'm going to do my eyebrows, because I don't think I'm going to do very much. We're just going for the fair. I really don't want to do a crazy eye. I'm not feeling that great, but I do want to look, you know, plus it's just my mom and Luna, so, you know, I'm not, and we're not going anywhere. You know what, I don't need to explain myself. So, <laughs> we are doing, I think I can use this for my, no wait, where's my, oh, I'm using, right Shoot. Okay. I'm gonna just bring this down here, and we're gonna do eyebrows. So this is the brush I'm using. Any angled brush, whatever works for you. Like the angle. Sometimes I'm in the mood to use like a super tiny, thin, precise brush, but most of the time I just want to use something that's gonna slap it on there. It's gonna look Am I good? And um, yeah. So that's my uh, philosophy behind the eyebrow. Especially right now. I'm just, I just want something on there. <laughs> We're not trying to be perfect. Well, I'm not. Plus, I'm going to brush them up with some brow gel and just like make them crazy. So all I need is a little bit of. Structure. So I do, I make sure that the underneath is pretty, pretty crisp. I want a nice crisp bottom of the brow. And then whatever's left, I take it to the front, but I don't want too much in the front. I just want color. And I'm pretty messy about it. Then I'm going to go to the top of my brow. And just where I like really have hair, that's where I'm putting. This up. Doesn't apply to everyone, but yeah. 
I have hair here, there. It's just like a little bit uneven. So I'm just trying to even them out a little bit, get some color on the brow, and that's pretty much it. I wonder why I can't see I'm not looking up. Okay, so. That's perfect. There you go. Done. Okay. Now I'm going to take... I do want to do something cute, but... I'm just taking the other side of that brush. And I'm going to be messy again. But honestly, as long as you make the bottom of your brow crisp, you're fine. Everything else could be a hot mess. So I'm putting, this is the Anastasia Soft Glam, and I'm putting orange soda and burnt orange in my crease, and I'm just buffing it up. I like a messy crease, nothing too precise, just nice. I'm so good at rhyming, you know, that's just like my... Yeah, sure. You guys, you're going to be so excited for me. I have my second interview for Sephora tomorrow, and I'm so excited. Can't believe it's happening. Can't believe it's here. I'm so excited. So please, pray for me, darling. I really want this job. Okay. So, not only do I want it, but I'm, I'm meant for it. Now, mind you, I'm only going to be a cashier <laughs> for right now, but trust me. Mama will move up. Trust. Okay. Um, now, so I just put that in my crease, a little bit of warmth. Now I'm going to do, this is Juvia's. Nubian palette. I love this. One of my faves. This thing has been used and abused, <laughs> for being quite honest. I used to use this for my eyebrows. I don't anymore because I like the Morphe one. I like the way it sticks more, but I don't like those for my eyes. This is the, the 9A Always Golden palette by Morphe. The colors are pretty when you look at it, um, but that's really it. I feel like they're really thick and chalky and they don't blend very well. So those aren't my fave, but these, um, Juvia's Place, this is amazing. So I'm going to use, there's like a golden color right here. I'm going to use the golden color, just a bronze. We're going real basic tonight. Super basic. I'm just going to run that. And that's just going to open my eye, which is what I really like. Ooh, that was not a good angle. Um, yeah, I like it because it opens my eye, just makes it look nice. A one and done product if you like a nice, like, sheen on the lid. <clears throat> is the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Weenie. It's like a pink rose gold and it's really, really beautiful. That's my favorite eyeshadow of all time. It's gorgeous. So, I'm just taking a bigger brush and really buffing those edges out because I feel like, honestly, I don't see all the hype with the Anastasia palettes. Maybe the new one, Tati says it's really good, and I believe everything she says. <laughs> um, and maybe the new one, the sultry one, is good. I'll have to try it. Whoa. Um, but I don't really like these. I feel like the Soft Glam is a little bit, like, lackluster. It doesn't do enough for me. The rose pink in here is, um, is just like the ColourPop one I was just telling you about, Weenie. Uh, but Weenie is so much better. It's so much more bright. It, like, the reflection is amazing. I love it. These just don't do it for me. They're a little bit too like chalky and dry. I don't know. I just don't like them. Also, another thing, 
I'm sorry, I'm all like disappointing. But another thing I don't get is the beauty blender. I don't think it's like a necessity. I don't think it's something that's like life changing. Um, so yeah, everybody fall into that. But I, those are some things that like everybody's into that I'm just really not. Um, okay, so with this Morphe palette though, you can do this with anything. But I like these, like I said, because I feel like they like they just stick and they don't go anywhere, which is nice, I guess. But when you're trying to blend and whatnot, um, don't tell anyone you just saw me do that. I'm going to dip into this dark color. It's called Taken. And I'm going to use it to make myself a fake mole. Okay? Don't judge me. This is what I do. So I put a fake mole there. And then I just darken my... My real moles. Sometimes I'll add more. I'll just do a couple right there so you guys can see. But then I just run my finger over, pat it out, make it look a little less there. And then sometimes I'll run the extra in the eyebrow. So it's the same thing I use. And this is like super, super fine. It's just an eyeliner brush. So I use that. I did a couple, a couple freckles, mole above my lip. And that's just how I do it. So that's my thing. Um, so I did the gold crease. What was I missing? Oh, blush. My two fave blushes. This is Estee Lauder and it's so old. But this is my favorite. I don't even know what it's called anymore. I want to say it was like baby doll or something like that. I could, I could just be making that up. <laughs> and then Hot Mama from The Balm. This is a really good one. Um, it looks to me like what everybody describes uh, Nor Nor Nars's orgasm blush. Because they say it's like a peachy pink with gold in it, which is what this is. So... But this is, like, I think a lot cheaper, and I think they, the balm uses better ingredients. I could be wrong, but, you know, I would enjoy the balm. And I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough. So, let's see. And for blush, I, like, stamp my cheek where the apple is, and then I blend up. Gives you the most natural blush, especially if you're using powder product. Sometimes it can look too powdery, but this one just gives you a nice beautiful golden glow um, as well as a nice little neutral flush to your teeth, which I really like. So, and I've had this for so long. I don't know how, like, I want to say like four years. That's probably not even sanitary, but it still works just as well as it always has. So. Okay. So I did everything. I think that's it. Quick. Quick. And then I checked the time. <laughs> it's been like 40 minutes. Oh, 23 minutes. That's not bad. So um, now I'm going to use my mascara. This is Monsieur Big Lancome. This is a beautiful mascara. I love mascara. It's one of my favorite parts of doing makeup. It's my favorite. I feel like it does so much for you. Like for anyone, you know, it just opens up your eye, makes you a little bit, oh, oh, oh. whoa, it makes you look a little bit more like girly, you know, eyelashes are everything. So, and normally I don't have a lot of time to do uh, my lashes. So that's why I really like this one. I feel like if you want to, you can take your time and build it up. But also, if you're kind of like in a hurry and you just got to like slap it on, you still get a nice thick lash pretty easily. It's like a thick formula. It's really nice. But it doesn't get clumpy. That's the cool thing is that it's super, super thick formula. But it doesn't get clumpy. Amazing. Unless it's starting to dry out, then it gets a little little cray cray. And then with this I just like touch the base of my bottom lashes. 
and drag it out so it gets more color at like the base of your lash and it looks so gorgeous gives you that like dull dull look and i'm going to take some pictures on instagram 